This is 323 arithmetic operations in a programming language. So we've got our question. Black and white bitmap images can be encoded using 1 to represent black and 0 to represent white and arranging the pixels in a two-dimensional array. The algorithm in figure 3 calculates the number of black pixels in a bitmap image stored in a two-dimensional array called image, which has four rows and three columns. Four parts of the code labelled 1, 2, 3 and 4 are missing. So it says shade one lozenge. So we're using this technique again where we're colouring it in and if we get it wrong, we do it like that and colour the next one in. So shade one lozenge to show which value should be written at point L1 of the algorithm in figure three. So it's gonna take a little bit of thinking time to figure this out. So number of black. Now, you can presume that number of black is going to store the number of black pixels. Before the algorithm has started to look for black pixels, we would set the variable to zero because we haven't counted any yet. So let's just see if there's a zero in here. And yes, there is. So we can shade in zero. So we've got that now as zero. Shade one lozenge to show which operator should be written at point L2 of the algorithm in figure three. So L2 could be any of those. So now we've got to look at this really carefully. So we've got while X, now X is set to one in the first iteration number of rows so it's going to be equals number of rows more than or, or equal to less than or equal to so number of rows is set to four so that's four now we want this while loop to run until it's got to the end of the row so it starts at one and it stops at four so while x equals 4 well that won't be true so it can't be that one while x more than or equal to 4 well that again won't be true because 1 is less than so then this last one that you're left with is while 1 is less than or equal to 4 which will be true and then that'll keep being true until it's equal to 4 and it's got to the end of the rows it's got to be this bottom one here so looking on to the next two questions I'm just going to write on there 0 and less than and equal to just to help me out there so the next two questions are asking so firstly shade one lozenge to show which value should be written at point l3 of the algorithm in figure three so we're looking at this one now l3 so what we're trying to do here is we're looking at the number of rows and then we're going to the number of columns within those rows so if the image array at location say one one in the first instance is l3 then number of black number of black plus one so we're probably saying that we're going to check for a black and if it's a black we want to add one so if we go up here using one to represent black. So if the pixel is a one, then increase the number of blacks by one. So if we go up to here, which one says one? And it's that one there. So it pays to just read the text in the question again, just so you know exactly what you're looking for. Shade one lozenge, I'll just put one there. Just know shade one lozenge to show what code should be written at l4 of the algorithm this time and we've got these options here so y 
equals. So we know y had a 1 in it there, and one y is iterating through the columns. So if we want to look at the next column, we're going to have to add 1 to y. So if I look on here, I've got y plus 1 there. So I'm going to shade that one. And our final question is to look at what technique can be used to calculate the remainder from integer division. So this is something, it's a bit of maths that we've just learnt and it's something called mod or modulus. Either of those would give us the correct answer. It's only saying what and it's only worth one mark so you literally just have to write the answer. What technique can be used to calculate the remainder from integer division? So remember integer is a whole number and we're working out the remainder so just like the example that we had if we had 10 pizzas and three people and we wanted to share them then we could do 10 mod 3 in Python it was that symbol but mod is the pseudo code for it so 10 mod 3 would give us the number 1 which is the remainder so mod is the correct answer